Hey guys, how's it going? Brad here, and we're playing Battle for Azeroth, and I'm back on my Horde Hunter. Uh, in this case, uh, a new story just popped up, and it I believe it's part of the whole Black Dragon storyline. But uh, this will be the same for Alliance and Horde, so I'm just going to jump right in. Uh, I'll see if it's any different on the Alliance side before I attempt to record it. I don't think it will be, but uh, let's get started. Uh, we've got an emergency champion. We need you in the heart of, in the chamber of uh, chamber o heart at once. Something nasty is getting into Ebonhorn's head. He can't shake it loose. Maybe we can help him out. Champion, okay. We've got a problem. Ah! Ebonhorn. He... Old guy contamination detected. Initiating sanitization protocol. No, what the? Don't sanitize, champion. You've got to get back to the chamber right now. Mother is really aggressive. She just like any sort of sanitation and she's like terminate, terminate. But Ebonhorn, he's helped us so much. Uh, if you're not familiar with Ebonhorn, he was the um, confidant of the... Uh, uh, he was from the Legion. He was basically a black dragon in disguise. He was the confidant of the... Um, why am I drawing a blank? Uh, the Torin in Legion. He ended up being her confidant. When you did the story, I did the story. Uh, you end up finding out about uh, who he is and why he's doing what he's doing. Now we're going to find out what's going on in the Chamber of the Heart. I hope they eventually build a temple where this, cham where this chamber is. It's just having a disc there is like me. Voices I, uh, I can't uh. Hold it together, Ebonhorn. Don't give in to them. Champion, I know someone who might be able to help. Oh really? The blue dragon flight stands with you. All right, I've got to investigate the Highlands as well. So I have to go to the Twilight Highlands. Together Let's do the one we're on world. now first, then I'll do another video for investigate the Highlands, because that could lead to something else entirely. Uh, I knew that Nazoth was powerful, but to reach Ebonhorn in the safety of the chamber, we have to do something about this. None of us are safe. Ebonhorn cannot resist the whispers from uh, for long. The dark forces that once corrupted the Black Dragon fight seem to overwhelm the world once again. We need a way to fight back. While I am loath to mention him, I do know of someone who has been studying the old gods in order to better combat their insidious power, Baratheon. The Black Prince will be difficult to find. He has associates in Pandaria, in the Tavern of Mists in the Veiled Stair. I suggest you begin your search there. Hurry, champion. Find Rathian. He may be Ebonhorn's only hope. Alright, we'll do the other quest later because I have a feeling this one's going to be at least a half hour long. Uh, basically, this kind of leads to either completion of stories, but usually like some sort of artifact piece that uh, I can add to my heart strength. Okay, so we would have to go to... We have to go to Pandaria, but I don't think there's a portal. No, so I have to go to Ogrimmar, then go to the Jade Forest, then go to the Inn. A lot of people complained when they changed these portals, but I find them more useful this way. All right. So they should be right over, yeah, so it's right over here. So we're going all the way back to Pandaria. There were uh, a bunch of quests for Rathion when Pandaria was out. Uh, I don't know if they were added, if they were there when the expansion started or if they were added later, because I quit WoW for a short while. When this expansion first came out, I quit. And it's not because I didn't like the expansion. My 
my shaman was my main and i remember when i started playing pandaria i was dying like crazy and i couldn't figure out how like there were changes to my shaman that basically crippled how i was playing him i got so frustrated i was like you know what i need a break and then i took a long enough break where i was like i'm just gonna not subscribe for a little while and then i'll come back when i feel like it All right, so the inn is around here. Okay, that's the cave to the next zone. There it is. So we're headed there. I'm getting angry. Ebonhorn's in trouble. The Black Prince told us to expect you said his brother would need his help eventually we're supposed to deliver a message to you but not while we're being watched get rid of those uninvited guests then we can talk Quite well, friend. what uninvited guests oh i see Really? The goats are 120? How they're kind of uh, getting us to go to other expansions to do some of these quests like it's so much content that yeah we did it years ago but there's so much content there you can not essentially reuse but change and add new stories to all right so we're done with these guys No longer being watched. You dispute. He said you had a message for me. Here, the prince wanted you to have these for your eyes only. As I suspected, little of what the Shendralar collected in their archives survived their fight, uh, their flight from the Edrithalus. Still, there was some knowledge to be gleaned from the tomes where they uh, were forced, uh, that they were forced to leave behind when they escaped the Horde's aggression. References to the old gods are vague and oblique, existing only as an archaeo archaeological footnotes from a time before the Sundering. The Shendralar, adep uh, adept in the arcane arts as they were, could not completely unravel the intricacies of the Black Empire's dark magic. Yet, a few of them did dabble in the void, and the lessons they learned grant me hope that Naza's own power can be wielded against him. Even in the abandoned state, the library's meticulous organization truly impressed me. If only more of it had remained intact, such as extensive loss of wisdom is lamentable. The Shendralar toiled carelessly to collect the Librams that, uh, that lined their bookshelves, only for the lion's share of it to be consumed by the flames of war. But such is the nature of warfare, it is, is it not? Seldom does it accomplish the intentions of its architects, and never without leaving immeasurable devastation in its wake especially when the Horde and Alliance are the forces in the conflict. Could one ultimately say that victory is worth the price that must be paid to achieve it? Perhaps it is in some cases, but the verdict is not as easily reached as once thought. Good work getting rid of those spies. 
Things have been quiet here for a long time, and now suddenly all eyes are on us, so to speak. The Black Prince is notoriously secretive about his plans. I'm not in the habit of reading other people's journals, but I'm guessing he expected you to feel differently about it. Obviously, the Black Prince isn't here. Trust me, when I saw... When I say he's not as e an easy one to find, if I were you, I'd make my way back to Black Rock Mountain. There's a terrace carved into its slopes, where Nefarian once made his lair. That's where a raid is. Uh, Rathian has been monitoring that place for a long time. Even if he's not there himself, you might find someone who knows where to look. And Hunter, it's clear he, you're not the only one searching for him. Watch your back. Alright. Says, it seems you're not the only one on Rath Rathian's tail. Uh, it must be why he's taking precautions. Not even when, uh, not even we know where he is, but he's been keeping an eye on Black Rock Mountain. Might be a good place to start. Watch your back. Whoever else is looking for him, I doubt they would just want to chat. All right, so take a portal from Shrine of the Two Moons, so I have to go just over this hill. So uh, in if you didn't play Pandaria or don't know anything about Pandaria, there was this central land in the middle of the continent and there were two temples. One was to, for the Horde and one was for the Alliance, and that was the main base of operations. It was very small and multi-leveled. So that's where we're going now, and it's right here ahead of me. So at least they give me a shortcut to get there. I don't know how short that cut will be, but we'll see. I hope it puts me at least in Black Rock Mountain area. Need to go upstairs. This is a very colorful expansion too. <laughs> Alright, I'm going back to Ongramar. Why are they sending me to Shatrath? Why would they be sending me there? Okay, so we'll be right back right when I get closer, because I have a feeling I'm going in a roundabout fashion. Okay, and we're back, and we're just coming up to Black Rock Mountain. It's right over here. I love this mountain. I don't love the zone. It's too old, but I do love the mountain. All right. Aha, here we go. Let's switch to my turtle pet. So I got a bit more of a tank. Pet go. It's supposed to be here. There he is. Yes. You're safe now. Did Rathian leave a message for we me? We will have justice. Oh, another page. Really? For all the time I've spent in Pandaria, only recently did I make uh, make acquaintance with the Lorewalkers. The sheer volume of knowledge to be found within their scrolls was marvelous to behold. Lorekeeper Cho taught me much about the legends of the Black Empire. He can be, shall we say, a long, long-winded at times, but the wisdom he can impart upon those with the patience to listen is valuable indeed. The Shadow Pan, in contrast, have little time for conversations not directly related 
to the defense of the Pandaren. Their Omnia scholars have accumulated centuries of practical expertise in combating the dark powers of the Shah without succumbing to their influence. Given that the Shah originated from the essence of Yash Yasharj, the underlying principles of their techniques could prove infective in resisting the whispers of the old gods. I must admit, I felt a certain kinship with the Shadow Pan that I did not anticipate. The Bandaran do not maintain a standing army, and so the Shadow Pans serve as their role, as their sole defense against both the Manted and the Shaw. Though they have trained themselves to seal away their emotions, there is an air of solitude about them that I recognize all too well. It is no easy task to stand before, uh, stand alone against the darkness so that others may bask in the light. But someone must always make that stand, and they can never allow themselves to falter. What business have you? Thank you. They forced their way into my mind. I couldn't stop them from finding out what they sought. The Black Prince meant for you to have those pages. He was certain that you would need the knowledge within them. I held out as long as I could, but the whispers were too strong. You must hurry to Karazhan. The Black Prince said he intended to study the artifacts stole, uh, stored within its catacombs. Please, do not allow my failure to bring about his doom. Stay the course. Alright, so that's just south of me then. There's a quest and a turn-in. All right, so we're going back to Karazhan. If you uh, watched any videos from Legion, uh, from the Legion expansion that I did, uh, we did a whole bunch of artifact quests in Karazhan, and it was under the tower uh, in this uh, in the Deadwind Pass. So I think that's where we're going again, because it looks like that's where it's pointed to, because it's saying the catacombs, which means that's exactly where we're headed. All right, so we're just coming up to Karazhan right now. Oh, I finished exploring Deadwind Past. It took long enough. Aha. Okay, there was a battle here, that's for sure. Search the body for more journal pages. Oh my god, this is going to be like more reading. Sorry. <laughs> Few mysteries intrigue me more than the lost knowledge and technology left behind by the Titans. The zeal with which I pursued their secrets in the past may have bordered on excess, but the quest in and of itself is one that must be continued. I know for certain that the Forge of Origination is the key to, uh, to dealing with the old gods, their uh, dealing the old gods their ultimate defeat. Though I have not yet been able to discern the exact manner in which it uh, it is meant to be used, my hope was that the vault of Archivon would hold the answers I seek. Unfortunately, the vault contained much material for me, too much material for me to study. Although the vault contained material for me to study, the giants who make it their home were less than cordial to me upon my arrival. I cannot say I blame them, given their previous encounters with visitors from the Alliance and Horde. It is strange to me, uh, strange to think how those events predate my own hatching. While I plumb the depths of forgotten lore from Eon's past, others have lived through crisis I will only ever know from historical accounts. There must be someone on Azeroth who possesses the understanding I require and perhaps my next course of action should be to seek them out. Pity the former aspects are so reluctant to trust me. Even after all my research, their familiarity with the Titan's handiwork should eclipse my, uh, surely eclipses my own. But given the troubled history of my dragonflight, of Deathwing, Anexia, and Nefarian, and myself, I cannot say I blame them either. Right, it looks like the flight, uh, the fight took place here. Nazoth's agent must have already entered the catacombs beneath Karazhan. The dead look, 
the dead lookout still has a set of keys on him. Perhaps that will unlock the door. With any luck, you can find Natharion for Nazoth's agents and gain something that can help Ebonhorn. Here we go. Yes, I was right. It is the catacomb. Yeah. So we've been in here a few times if you've been watching my videos for years. I think uh, Warlocks, Death Knights, I think Mages came here too? Could be wrong about the Mages, but I know definitely Warlocks and Death Knights came here. guys all have void powers. Okay, a bolt of embroidered cloth. Ways of the Old Gods, it's a book. Burnt journal page. Can I read that? No, it's just, it's a mound of dust. Journal page number 58. I don't even know how many of these journal pages I have. <laughs> There's so many of them. It's impossible to set eyes upon Karazhan without reflecting on the dark saga of its master. A befit, uh, as befitting his title, the last guardian of Tyr's Fall had amassed a vast collection of writings and artifacts that dwarfs even that of the Kirin Tor. The insight I gained from the tower's library allowed me to reach a significant milestone. I have concocted a tonic that when imbued will cleanse a minor amount of old god's corruption. Okay, so this is what I'm looking for. And silence their whispers. Such, uh, such is merely the first step on the path to defeating them once and for all, but it warrants celebration nonetheless. Though I knew that there were valuable lessons to learn in Karazhan, I did not anticipate that some of them would emerge from the conversations with Medivh's lingering spirit. He, he recounted his struggles under Sagaris's influence as the Dark Titan twisted his soul from within. And I was left to wonder if similar thoughts plagued in Atharian as he descended into madness himself. But Medivh also spoke of his spirit's return to the mortal realm, and now it guided Azeroth's champions in the fight against the very forces that once corrupted him. He said something on which I ruminate even now. I can never change the actions of my past, he told me, but I can forge a new legacy to leave behind. A new legacy? In the end, perhaps that is what I am truly after. A way to make amends for my father's failings as well as my own. A legacy worthy of the Black Dragonflight's original sacred charge, the defense of Azeroth, the end of the Old Gods. I do hope these pages have proven to be of use to you. I would hate to think my agents wasted their time delivering them to you as instructed. Best assur rest assured that when the time is right, you will have my aid in the fight against Nazoth, in the true battle for Azeroth. Oh, and one last request. Burn this journal. It is time my actions speak for me. Let's 
person who are definitely going to get into a fight with the old gods and Nazoth. Scrawled note. The note reads, Sentry, if you're reading this note, then I assume the Abyssian has fallen prey to the whispers of the old gods. Fortunately, I have prepared a method to save him. You will find a portion of the properties you seek sitting next to this note. Bring it to my brother, and it will clear his mind of Nazoth's influence. I will thank you for your efforts in person soon enough. Champion, we need you back in the chamber at once! Ebenhard's almost gone! Mother's opened the way gate to get you back here! Hurry! Well, that was nice of them. I didn't have to run all the way back here. I counsel the High Chieftain. Ocean of Mental Clarity. The whispers are silent. Rathion crafted this potion? So you were able to find him? No, he eluded both Nazoth's minions and our friend. But it seems he has found a way to resist the influence of the old gods. I Interesting. That's a step. My mind is finally my own again. Whatever Rath Rathian brewed into that potion has quieted the whispers. But I take it you did not find the Black Prince himself. The whispers ceased as soon as I drank the potion. Thank you. Still, it is gravely concerning that Nazoth's influence could reach me even within the Chamber of the Heart. If Rathian has found a way to resist the power of the Old Gods, then we can use it to reinforce the Chamber's defenses. Perhaps Mother can glean more information from Rathian's journal. Hi, Mother. Levels. No, no, no. Is there anything described in this journal that can protect the Chamber Discovering of the Heart? Transcribed data. Complete. Do you require experimentation? Information from journal pages committed to memory, formulating fortification schematics for Chamber of Heart. All data recorded and cataloged. Physical transcription no longer required. Mother! Why'd you do that? Oh, she burned it. <laughs> data committed to memory. Physical record no longer required. Destruction executed as advised. Oh, because the last page said that. Want to be found, but the knowledge he's accrued could be critical in the fight against Nazoth. Thank you, champion. I'll get to tracking down the Black Prince. Not too many places you can hide when Azeroth's own speaker is looking for you. <laughs> okay, so it looks like that's it for that quest. So we're done with this part. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for hanging in there to the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell button so you know when I post the next video. And don't forget to comment and let me know what you thought of the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.